Hello, welcome everyone here. Now, here we are going to discuss the module 8 that is budgetary control. Under this budgetary control, budgets and budgetary control, the several topics to be included as it is that introduction, meaning and definition of the title of the chapter, then advantages, limitations, essentials of effective budgetary control, types of budget like cash budget, master budget, flexible budget, fixed budget, performance budgeting, zero based budgeting and at last budget reports. So let's begin with the introduction part. What is budget? A budget is an accounting plan. It means that the whole amount of business and the business transactions are going to run smoothly if your plan is successful or a plan properly or systematically. The budget is helping out to the organizations for planning and organizing and coordinating with the old and past and historical financial data for the future planning. So here the budget is actually a plan for accounting concern. It is a formal plan of access expressed in a monetary items and in a monetary terms. The term budget appears to have been derived from the French word baguette which means the little bag or a container of documents and accounts. It could be seen as a statement of expected income and expenses under the certain anticipated operating conditions so it is a quantified plan for future activities and a quantitative blueprint for an action plan in the future course of action for business every organization achieves its purposes by coordinating a different type of activities for the execution of goals, efficient planning of this activity is necessary. And that is why the very important things that the budget and the management skill have to be identified and playing a crucial role to drawing out a systematic plan through the business activity for budgeted activity. Various activities within a company should be synchronized by the preparation of plans and actions for a future period of time. These comprehensive plans are usually referred to as budgets. That means whatever the comprehensive plans has been prepared that would be considered as a budget. Budgeting is a management device used for a short term planning and control. It is not just an accounting exercise. So this is what all about the introduction part of a budget. Let's move for the definition of a budget. Here the budget it means according to the CIMA Chartered Institute of Management Accounting UK. A budget is a plan quantified in a monetary terms prepared and approved prior to the defined period of time that means the period has been already designed first and on the basis of that period the certain monetary ideas and plan has to be designed usually showing plan income to be generated and expenditure to be incurred during the period and the capital to be employed to attain a given objective. So this is what the definition has been given and a budget is a plan of action to achieve stated objective based on predetermined series of a related assumption. This is what all about a budgetary definition, a budget definition. So a budget is a written plan converting projected activities of a firm for a definite time of period. So here the few definitions were actually expressed. The situation, there are two important factors are there. One is the time period and the other one is a systematic financial planning. Both would be helpful for the management in future for their taking a budgeted systematically requirements. In the explicit characteristics of a budget after observing a few definitions like first is it is mainly a forecasting and controlling devices that means we need to forecast what would be actually possibilities to be done and how you can control the certain things it is prepared in advance before the actual operations of the company or a project 
it is in connection with a definite future period before implementation it is to be approved by the management that means the whenever you are going to execute that budgeted plan the management has to approve that plan and then you can execute that particular budget in your future it also shows a capital to be employed during the period of time so this is what all about a mini and definition of the budgets next uh, topic is a budgetary control Budgetary control is a method of managing cost through preparation of budgets. That means the controlling cost, one of the tools is budget. Through budget, that can be control the cost, reduce the cost, planning of the particular control, planning of the costing, and as well as the coordination between all the departments. So, that's only a part of a budgetary control. We want to say that it is controlling device, planning device, and it is a futuristic understanding for financial management. According to the CIMA, budgetary control is an establishment of budget relating to the responsibility of executives of a policy and continuous comparisons of the actual with a budgeted results. Either to secure by individual actions the objective of the policy or to provide in for the revision. So this is what all about a budgetary control. The main features of budgetary control are first establishment of budget for each purpose of the business. That means we need to establish for budget each and every purpose. Maybe a raw material, maybe a cash, maybe a flexibility, maybe a purchase, maybe a capital expenditures like that. So revision of budget in view of changes in condition. So the, whenever you want to revise it, it would be revised, it would be rectified on the basis of certain conditions. Comparison of actual performance with the budget on always a continuous process. That is a continuous basis. Why it is a continuous process? Because of in the case of a comparison only, you would be getting an idea where you want to keep a change and where you want to improvisations for the future it is this is an taking suitable remedial action wherever it is required analysis of variations of actual performance and the formula of the budgeted performance to required in the specific reasons so this is what all about a budgetary control now we move to the next point that is objectives of budgetary control Listen, the budgetary uh, control and the budget is actually a forward planning, futuristic planning. It serves basically as a tool for a management control. It is rather a pivot of any effective scheme of a controlling. So that means it is all about planning and controlling for a future requirement. Budgeting profit planning and control has rightly pointed out that budgeting is the principal tool of planning and control offered to the management by accounting function this is actually a part of a budgetary control let's start one by one the objectives of a budgetary control start with the first uh, objective that is planning Planning has been defined as the design of a desired future positions for an entity and resets that the belief of the future position can be attained by uninterrupted management action. So it means that when you are going to plan, there should not be interruption and the planning, according to the planning, it would run very smoothly. Detailed plans relating to the production, sales, raw materials, and, uh, the raw material maybe purchases and the raw materials requirements, labor requirements, capital additions, that means the sources of capital, other etc items are to be drawn out that means these things to be determined these things to be identified and getting an idea what type of things has been required at the time of a planning of budget by planning many problems estimated long before they arise and solution 
can be thought by the true carefully study that means we need to study properly before we are going to find out the conclusion of the respected issues so planning is a constant process since it requires the constant revision with the changing of different conditions next objective is coordination ultimately planning is there but without the coordinations of the company organizations managerial level killed people all the departments everyone that might not be effective so the budgeting plays a significant role in establishing and maintaining a coordination budgeting assist managers in coordinating the efforts so that the problem of the business are solved in harmony with the objectives of its divisions lack of coordination in an organization is observed whenever the department head is permitted to enlarge the department on the specific needs of that department only that point of time it may be without any concern to the other departments without any concerns with the subordinates if you taking any decision it might be harmful for the company or it may be create the negative impact in the department and in other department also thus the coordination is required at all vertical as well as the horizontal levels moving to the next is measurement of success budget is all about a measuring a part of the past data and whatever you have actually planned for the future data so then they are going to compare and after the comparisons the sum measurement has to be designed so budget presents a useful means of informing managers how well they are performing in future targets they have previously helped to the particular setting up so success is determined by comparing the past performance with the previous periods performance ultimately it's a comparative analysis for the taking a successive successive decision next is motivation budget is always considered a useful tool for encouraging managers to complete things in line with the business objectives if individuals have intensely participated in the preparation of budgets it acts as a strong motivation force to achieve the goals that means the budget is ultimately providing the systematic motivational aspects and motivational thoughts running in the organizations which would be helpful to actually work more and more efficiently by all the different different departments and levels and tasks by the employees moving to the next is that is communication a budget serves as a means of communicating informations within a firm ultimately the budget speaks everything nothing has to be speak to the managers if you send your budgets automatically it speaks everything what type of requirement by the people by the department in the coming future control control is essential to make sure that plans and objectives laid down in the budget are being achieved so ultimately it's actually providing a facility that the objectives and plans has to be understood by the budgetary people by the person who was going to design a budget and whether it is achieved or not would be identified by them it is almost considered as a controlling device so control when applied to budgeting as systematically efforts as is to keep that management informed of whether planned performance is being achieved or not so this is what about the control is concerned so all about the objectives of a budgetary control so here advantages of a budgetary control 
advantages of a budgetary control like it is actually considered on the basis of a planning control and the coordination so all these three things there are certain advantages this system provides basic policy for initiatives that means if you want to take some initiative this actually system this technique would be providing a grassroots level of information it enables the management to perform business in the most professional manner because budgets are prepared to get an optimum utilization of resources and the objectives are framed it ensures teamwork and this encourages the spirit of the support and mutual understanding among the staff that means it creates a motivational aspects in the staff member that they would be getting uh, in, involved in the work more and more deeply it increases a production efficiency eliminates of wastages and control of cost it shows to the management where action is necessary and remedy for taking a certain situation and position budgeting also adds to in obtaining a bank credit that means on the basis of budget the some bankers are maybe be ready to provide a credit facilities to the organization it reviews the present situation and pinpoints the changes which are necessary so these are the advantages now moving that is limitations of a budgetary control as the limitations of budgetary control is if the people does not have a clear cut idea or if they don't have a skilled people to identify the near future possibilities as well as their capacity for understanding of the changes in environment internal as well as an external the big limitations would be arise so intends to bring about a rigidity in operation which is very much harmful so when you are going to prepare a budget if you are having a some amount of rigidity to preparation of that budget it would definitely a reverse impact on your organization it being expressive is